All right, Corey, you can't stick, go live off camera. Get on camera. <laughs> I had to get my drink. You did not have to get your drink. Yeah, I did because it's, it's Friday. Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday, it's Friday, 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 Friday. Hey, it's a blind guy. His wife. Their life live. We have count, we have counted you down to the weekend successfully. And we are here for you every hump day to Friday. We are here for you 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, eleven fifteen a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We bring some of the best guests that you can imagine to your our platform. Now, today, what we're going to do, if you are interested in how you can build a million dollar portfolio, you can. This is the show for you. Today's show is for you if you're looking to build a million dollar platform portfolio, portfolio investment portfolio. If you want to, if you want to be inspired to get up and do something, because you're going to hear how someone rose from the projects to prosperity. This is the show for you. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. You know, our friend, Mary Amade Poju, she told us that she taught us how to say it, to tell a friend, tell a friend, tell your mosques, tell your villages, tell your Facebook groups, tell your WhatsApp groups, tell your text groups, tell your family groups, tell and your so, church group. And for some of you that are like PWJ and like Miss B Finesse, tell your cellmate to tell their cellmate <laughs> to tell their cellmate. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Just Let them kidding. all know, guys, that this is the place for you if you're looking to build your investment portfolio. So how do we get this show started, Corey? We say, let's go, let's go, let's start the show with the real talk with Intabi Intro. It's another episode of A Blind Guy. It's white. Hey everybody, I'm Corey the Blind Guy. His wife, Laquita Marie. Together we're letting you into our life live. live. Every Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday at 11.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we are here for you. Guys, you have dubbed us the Self-Improvement Resource Library, and we are here every Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday at 11.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to answer the bell, where we bring you guests that can help you and anybody around that's listening to change what the narrative of what they think is normal when it comes to health, business, business and wealth. wealth. I like the wealth part. That's my favorite part. Today, because you know, wealth does not mean rich. Like wealth means you are satisfied. Wealth means you're satiated. Wealth means you are good to go. Uh, that is all correct. All correct definitions of what we mean when we say wealth on this channel. Yeah. Rich means bling, glam. You know, you got it right now. It might be going to Mars, that sort of thing. Like, you know, when you go from riches to refugee because a tsunami came and knocked everything out and you don't have resources right away. Mm -mm. But wealth, you have it all. So that's what our guest today is talking about, right? Yes. This guest is not is no exception to the fabulous guest rule. Today, we are going to bring you, introduce to some and to present to others, we are bringing forward today's guest, the Intentional Millionaire. Now, Come on in. Wait a minute. You can't just say come on in without letting them know, guys. This is a one hour event. Our talk show is only about an hour. So if you haven't already told a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend or shared this, do so now because it'll be over before you know it. So let's bring them in, right? All right. Come on in. We've got the intentional millionaire say good morning. Good morning, everyone. How y'all doing? I'm doing great. Doing it wonderful. How are you today? I am doing fantastic. Intentional Millionaire is one of the greatest men that has ever graced this channel. I mean, he is just, I'm telling you, and it's one reason and one reason only, because he and I graduated from the same college. So hey. that makes us both great men. So Ooh, he, is, stuff. he is here this morning. And Intentional Millionaire, people, they come to your channel. You talk a lot about investment, talking about talk, talk a lot about growing your wealth. But what they might not know about you is that you are also into personal fitness like a champ. Yes, I am. Um, I take personal fitness very important um, because for me, it, it, it doesn't make sense to, you know, have resources, have money and want to live a good life when your health is not in order. So I made it a personal interest to really focus on my health. So um, I am a, a vegetarian. Wait a minute. Slow he said, down. He said, he said he's a vegetarian. No, no, no. But we got to slow down. I just want to warn the people. I'm on his Instagram page, guys. And um, this is I'm just going to, you know, let this play while you talk about, you know, health being your wealth. So if y'all can see that's your back, right? 
Yes, that's my back. That's all correct. right. So, okay, so now continue because we got Coach Remy Fitness. Now, Coach Remy, both of y'all got the same sort of lifestyle. Uh, he's vegan, actually, not just vegetarian. And both of y'all, we see the muscles rippling, and people think, I can't be, you know, uh, eat ripped. all those vegetables and, and be ripped, right? But you and Coach Remy are like, people, come through, right? And he's saying good morning to you, by the way. So, anyways, go on with this is one of your passions, right? Tell us about this. Yeah, because uh, one of the things that I realized and me and my mom always had conversations about, um, we kind of really talk about how cancer is a pandemic in the, in the mm -hmm. community mm -hmm. and how the only thing that's really different is the food. Oh. Um, and we kind of talk about when she was my age, because um, my mom was born in 1945. So mm -hmm. we talk about when she was my age, um, it wasn't a cancer pandemic. And now um, you fast forward to, you know, 70 some years later and everyone has all these different variations of cancer mm -hmm. and i had a chance to just really sit back and really evaluate you know the food what i was eating what i was doing and i really took health serious um and i just stayed at it um one of the benefits nice. was from for me personally was i decided to take health important was because um i had a was in a major car accident um the year that I graduated high school. Wow. And from that, uh, I have a Bojan L5 in my back, on my lower back. But mm -hmm. um, I had a chance to go see a lot of different specialists. And I found that the best way for back problems is exercising and health. Got it. Um, so this is why this particular video of you, you, you know, the tag is or the caption is back day. Because yep. you realize that just because you had a back injury did not mean that you couldn't use your back anymore. You realize, okay, if I have a bulging L5, so you, your disc is slipped or however you want to say it, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, people say it different ways, mm -hmm. but basically, and some people say, I got a bad back, right? Mm -hmm. Bad back, slip disc, bulging L5. The whole point is that you can improve that. You can work on it. You can strengthen all those muscles around it. And that's what you decided to do. Okay. That's correct. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, we we're supposed to be just saying hello to you and we getting out of here because see G. Albert, Albert, Corey, now he's talking trash. Mm -hmm. Talking mm -hmm. about, hey, we can see Corey's, mm -hmm. look Corey's back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My back ain't looked like that since I was like a creation in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, so other words, is, never. Right, right. So look, we're, we just wanted to say good morning to you. This is going to be a wonderful topic because like you said, you take care of your body like you do your finances. And so your pockets are bulging, your muscles are bulging. You got something to share with us today, right? That is correct. All right. We're now, here for it. Intentional Millionaire, we uh, we, we did take your order last night. I, we sent it to our, our virtual staff. What you asked for, I know you said you were vegetarian, but you did say, could we slide you a pork chop sandwich and a Coca-Cola? <laughs> so that's, that's in the virtual green room right now. If you would like to go ahead and enjoy that while we're bringing it. I'm just kidding. We're right the, now. Well, do the virtual agreement have a mop? Because I'm going to need it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. A virtual mop. So we'll be one last, One last question. I'm sure you work your abs as well because, you know, Mr. Stewart is saying also work your abs to help with back pain. Mm -hmm. So that was a back view. This is a front view. But, of course, you got a tank on. You you do uh, ab day as well, I'm, I'm assuming. A absolutely. I'm a full body guy. All my muscles are fully engaged. Got it. So I, I, got, I guess so. I, guess I always say I'm this six, 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 <laughs> six feet, six figures, six pack abs. Hey, that's what I'm talking you're about. Not the, you're not the devil. The, nope, not the devil. No, I definitely have a spiritual relationship. <laughs> and ladies, later on, the grand prize is intentional millionaire. If you get picked, if you get picked for the drawing, the intentional millionaire is going to get in front of the camera and he's going to put on his. <laughs> we'll see you soon thank you for saying good morning to us okay uh, this is gonna be a good episode of Man, uh, intentional millionaire but you know this broadcast like all of our broadcasts is powered by Streamyard and by member support by viewers like you, you. what that means is if you're new today make sure that you subscribe it's free as melissa barry would say right now do it now 
Also, you can support this, this stream by remembering to bum rush the button. That's it, guys. Hit the thumbs up button. That way you can let other people know that you found value in this content. We've just gotten started. And so we usually try to wait until we've started and given you something to ask for something. So if you've gotten value from this as well, already as well, if you've gotten value and you know what's coming because there's more, hit the thumbs up. Let other people know that you enjoy this. Uh, we also would love for you to visit Blind Guy, his wife, dot com. So when you do that, it's scrolling right there at the bottom of the screen, along with our sponsors. When you head on over there, you'll know that you're in the right place because what you'll see is me and Corey, right? Corey's the blind guy. I'm his wife. Uh, we have a life. So here we are, uh, blind guy, his wife, their life. So that's the simple site for this particular uh, channel. You scroll on down, you can find out who we are, find out a little bit about us, and then you can also uh, see what we're all about. We have been dubbed the Self-Improvement Resource Library. We've got a timeline that tells you a little bit about what we do. You can watch videos within the timeline. You don't even have to go outside of there. And then scroll on down on the page find out how you can plug in. Buy us a coffee. Support the production by clicking the green coffee cup. No, no. Oh. Like Bernie Matt said, she gonna say, what you doing? And you gonna say, you know what I'm doing. Stir it like coffee. <laughs> click, 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 click. <laughs> so once you do that, click the green coffee cup. It does open a widget. And when you open that widget, you can choose one coffee, three coffee, five coffees. There are some, some options there already. This way you can also type in. If you know that most of you know, some of you don't, Corey cannot see. He has been blind 25 years this year. So we always type in 25 coffees. You can leave your name. You can say something nice. You can see how you're supporting this production. Now keep in mind, all proceeds do go 100% of those go to our parent company, Atumpan Edutainment. Atumpan powers this production, and so that's how we operate. If you look on our YouTube channel, other videos, we show you sneak peeks of what we do with Atumpan in the community. And so we're out here, guys, deep in these streets. You can also find out how to be a sponsor. If This way, if you'd like to take on a larger role than just hanging out with you know sponsorship once or twice, then of course, this tutorial shows you exactly how you can be a sponsor for the week. Our guest today has been a sponsor. It's quite affordable, 25, 50. We see all that, we need sponsorships, internet buffering, computer raggedy, mm -hmm. all of that stuff. It, look, y'all can help this production. <laughs> the for video just started. For, tw right? for 25 coffees a day. You <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. So this video shows you exactly what to do. And then you can also get prime spots for, for promoting your business or products through our in show steamers where you sponsor a segment. And even you have opportunities to be featured in that segment as a, as our featured product sponsor. Yes. So we have those different levels and you can always go to the calendar, see who's on this week. Click on the calendar, see what's happening and click right there to enter into the broadcast. Get our gear. Scroll on down to our Blamazon, Black Amazon with Press and Sew. You can get all the different home team jerseys, Blind Guy, His Wife logo jersey, like T-shirt, like Trash Can Waves. You can get all the way live, like AJ's Throw Tripping, Tawana Harris, or XDMC. Or you can get the ones that we're sporting, Hump Day to Friday, Weekend Countdown, or my favorite, WTF. Wednesday, Wednesday Thursday, Thursday, Friday. <laughs> We get a countdown t-shirt. So, and if you're looking for some, something special for someone in the holidays, you want to give them a unique gift card or give them a special gift that can do things like relieve eczema, dry skin, or give that special lady in life those gorgeous, shiny feet that she loves to show in her, um, her open toe shoes, definitely visit Violet Botanical Skin Care. We have right there on our site, guys. When you click on the button that says click for coupon code. It actually takes you directly to the website. The coupon is built in. So just that so you know how effective Violet Botanical Skin Care is. we gotta go. It's, I, we, we gotta get we, into this. We gotta you, do the commercial. You wanna do a commercial for Violet Botanical? Yes. Here we All go. right, guys, ready? we're gonna do a commercial for Violet Botanical Skin Care. This is Lacrita Marie before Violet. I know I should have said no. <laughs> this, is, this is Lacrita Marie before Violet Botanical Skin Care. This is Lacrita Marie after. <laughs> There you have it, folks. So let's jump. Let's give them. Do, do they get a sneak peek at the plant-based treat? I hope oh, so. We're gonna make them wait. Let's Guys, make them wait. 
No, you know what? We're always trying to get you to eat more fruits and vegetables here. We're not uh, vigilantes. We're not vigilantes. Or fruit hoodlums. Guys, yesterday, Professor Black Ops, cybersecurity for the people, he was like, man, y'all want me to stop drinking these sodas. I ain't tell you to stop drinking those sodas, guys. I drink sodas. But I also eat a lot of fruits, vegetables, uh, whole foods like grains, nuts, seeds, and all that kind of stuff. So sneak peek at today's plant-based treat because we're always trying to get you to eat more fruits and vegetables at every meal or beans and stuff like that. If this if this clip plays, you guys will see what today's plant-based treat is. If it plays, fingers crossed. Peace that, please. That's it. That's all we're going to give you is right. a sneak peek. It worked, Corey. Woo, powered by StreamYard, guys. Now it's time to cannonball into the comments. <laughs> All right, I'm going to see who was in first place, Corey. Everybody wants to be first place, but it looks like Uncle Stu. Uncle Stu, the old man on the block holding it down. Uncle Stu, make sure that you hashtag the home team. Everybody hashtag the home team for the first place pony drawing. They're actually in there doing that, Corey. Everybody is putting in hashtag the home team because everybody wants first place bragging rights. Speaking of bragging rights, Uncle Stu talking about... Uh, thanks, Corey, for letting the woman in the house speak uh, speak on my show. She did great. Oh, yeah. And I, <laughs> yeah, I had to come in. You saw me flex on it, Uncle Stu. I was like, shut up. Can't you see Uncle Stu is talking? That's what I was saying. <laughs> uh, Uncle Stu has hashtag the home team in there. So, yes, he's in first place. But, hey, he's going to go for it. Hey, Lash's Journey. She was on Intentional Millionaire Show's channel waiting for the show to start. Lash's Journey. Thank you for joining us this morning. So Don't happy forget to, to have hashtag you. the home team. Yes. And uh, thank you for being cordial to everybody saying hello. Trash Can Waves got it in there. Trash Can in the house all the way out there in Michigan. Absolutely. Trash Can Waves coming on next week on the 11th. He's gonna, ready. Yeah, he's going to be talking about firearms, well, how you can use it for self-defense and self-employment. Y'all, Trash Can is packing. Uh, really, really packing. I, I don't know if he packing Just stop, those, just stop, those, stop, 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 stop. Go on a trip? You don't know what yeah, I was going to say. that was going all kinds of left. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay, look, let me stop, let me stop, okay. How do you know? Back to uh, Lash's journey. I mean, you're gonna have me going to You're going to have me going to my closet, reaching for my, ooh! <laughs> Hey there, Wally. Uh, Wally says this is going to be a hitter. Salute at the Intentional Millionaire. Wally down in Florida, Florida. Well, talk production. That's Wally's channel, guys. Well, talk production. Talking all things well. So you know Wally is here today to, for this talk. Hey, Miss Larita. Miss Larita King of Kingsway, Kingsway Gardening. Garden. Oh, yeah, Kingsway Garden or Kingsway Gardening. Either way, she's got hashtag the home team in there, and she also has an amazing production team. So when you head over to Larita's channel, you'll see like home and garden style editing. She has a garden. Her husband, her daughter have helped her, but you I got know, a song she's for you, the camera. I got a song for you. What's her song? I'm praying every day these seeds go the right way. Gardening the king's highway. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Hey there, Atun Pond, the Talking Drums. Hey, hey, Atun Pond, our parent company, members of our parent company are joining us today. Saying, Same. can't wait. Beautiful morning or beautiful evening to you all. All right. Hey, Nancy Annette is traveling and Nancy talking. Nancy Annette, all right. She says, Grand Rising, folks, I'm watching you from SD. Is that South Dakota? San Diego. Oh, I'm like, Look, I don't know, guys. I don't Nancy that probably was on the airplane, on the plane with the baking soda and vinegar, and like scrubbing stuff down, sanitizing everybody for themselves. Essential oils on deck, all that stuff. Hey, David Hunt, the David home Hunt, team, he put it in there. Hunty boy, check out David Hunt's um, channel, David Hunt, where he's doing morning music, musical morning meditations. Yes, yeah, so David Hunt always lets you guys know how to win first place pony. Of course, he always lets you know just to put your hashtag, uh, the home team in there, and he's also showing you what to do. So thank you so much, David Hunt. Up there in Massachusetts. Yes, Black Tropical. We'll see Black you tonight. Black Tropical Homestead in the house. They're saying blessing soil family. Soil they, you know what? Family. She was showing how the passion fruit, are now like twice the size. So they started that vine just in July, I think she says on that video. Mm -hmm. And now she shows like some of the ones they, they've harvested. 
and the ones that they have now are like twice the size. So it's sort of like a, from a golf ball mm. to the size of not quite an orange, mm. but I would say um, a small apple. That's because that it's growing so well because that's by, that's Sharia and Bobby's kissing the hugging spot. It's you know what? Filling the ground with passion so the fruit can grow. <laughs> Don't let all their secrets out. <laughs> We'll be on Black Tropical Talking Money tonight. They have a wonderful guest on Top Williams. He's a uh, another trader, trade not a trade tour, but a trader where he trades stocks, bonds, and he does a lot of different things with finances as well. So Black Tropical has hashtag the home team, Zan the Man, another money man. Zan the Man. Zan the Man has all his action figures out last night. I got a question for you guys. What do you, well, I can't ask that question. They don't know about the hero model, so. Oh, yeah, yeah Zan knows about the hero model. Guys, yeah. Zan is a Kajabi hero. If you know anything about courses and selling courses, you don't get that status without really leveling up. So that's why he, we're saying he's a man. He is a confidence coach, but he also talks a lot about wealth building, and he has a lot of free game on his channel, and he also does a lot of uh, other stuff. Let's just say that. So who you put put into the chat also? Who was the richest superhero around? Was it Batman, or was it Iron Man, or was it Black Panther? Y'all tell mm. me what y'all think. Hey there, Mister Stewart. We're gonna bring in uh, we're gonna bring in intentional millionaire in just a minute so that he can help us with this hero question because he probably knows some of the stuff you're talking about. But we gotta say hi to Big Bro, little sis. Big bro, little sis. Okay, big bro, little sis. What's right. going on? Hey there, and you know, K Biz. K Biz in the house. Every kiss begins with a K. Yes, always talking business. Has a new video out, guys, about how you can get a ten thousand dollar grant for your business. All you got to do is go to his channel, K Business Podcast. It's like a six eight minute video, if not a five minute. It's short. It's less than ten minutes. Not only does he give you the details on what the grant requires, but he also reminds you of what you need, whether it's a business license, a business bank account, or a uh, DUNS number, or an EIN. So all of that packed in that one video. So check it out. Uh, Tasha Oshi oh, Grows. we got the gardeners in here. Here comes Tasha. She has a farm. Oh, she, oh, she grows. Hey there, Tasha. Oh, she grows. Loving your content and your channel. And I caught her live when we were at rehearsal the other night. Okay. Yeah, okay. I was in there trying to chat and stuff. Um, I'm in consistent Ashes live stream right now. So mm. your favorite pharmacist. Hey, another, hey, another your favorite person. Pharmacist. Your favorite pharmacist. Don't forget, get some violet botanical skincare to replace that job Vaseline. Boom. And not just that, but, you know, your favorite pharmacist. Speaking of money, she had a doctor on the other night. He's a chiropractor, mm -hmm. but he's a, a, a novelist. He writes books. Mm -hmm. They're on Amazon. They're bestsellers. And he's trading crypto. And he was like, that kind of knocked him out of the of the um, business so that he's still in the business. But what he might do is give it away to his clients. Who does that? Oh, wow. Who okay. is that uh, set up? Like he was not an intentional millionaire from the way he tells the story. Mm -hmm. He just says that that hard work and that consistency just keeps pushing him forward. So right. she brings on some wonderful guests, y'all. And she talks trash and her sidekick, Kay, is beautiful. So everybody talks about Kay. Your favorite pharmacist is beautiful as well. And they just be like, but Kay, but Kay. But anyhow, mm -hmm. let's get on, Corey. Let's get our guest in here because we've got everybody in here like Vanessa Buckner. Hey, hey. Vanessa Buckner. <laughs> Real talk with Melissa Barry. Yeah, Real talk with Melissa B out in Arizona. Another content creator that edits, and right now, Mr. B has her looking fly, Corey. So she been glammed up a little bit. I don't know what her husband been doing lately. I know he got a new position, or maybe he didn't. Mm -hmm. Maybe he always, you know, her husband's doing very well too. So maybe just that's stop, why she's glamming. Just stop, just she's stop camming me. up. Every time you just dig a deeper hole for yourself. Uh oh, what I say? First now? trash can ways is really packing. And they say, Mr. B got Melissa in a new position, but okay, let's go. Hey, Coach <laughs> Remy, let's get our fitness guy in here on Coach Remy. Hey, Intentional Millionaire, how's it going? <laughs> it's going fantastic. Hey. So we're going to switch the subject back uh, to the, you're our guest for today. We know that you're an Intentional Millionaire. That is your title. Uh, what the funk is this is over there in Germany, right? And mm -hmm. when we were talking earlier about you and your fitness journey, he said the food is so different on this side of the world and it's all from food and drinking, you know? Mm -hmm. So in Germany, and I know you're a world traveler. You've been to Hawaii, Japan, China, um, some other places. <laughs> <laughs> but the whole point is that you've, you've eaten all around the world, right? I don't know if you've been to the Philippines because Crafts by Ian, she's in the Philippines. Um, but tell us, 
a little bit about what you might know about superheroes. We know you're into fitness, but Corey, yeah, the, the question is like, which one would which who do you think was the richest uh, or the wealthiest superhero? Iron Man, Batman, or the Black Panther? Actually, it will be Black Panther, but the problem is he wasn't actually gauged as the richest because they didn't count Wakanda didn't get credit for all his resources. Right. And so it would be Black Panther, but then right. if you really look at just sheer numbers, it would be Tony Starks because Tony Snart Starks had more money than Bruce Wayne. Right. And that's what yeah, I was I'm a Marvel saying. fan, so <laughs> yeah. That's what I was gonna say too, Black Panther, because he owned it, he had he was in, he led an entire kingdom. These guys had, you know, wealth as far as business, but like you said, when they didn't count the resources of Wakanda, that's why that's does not count. That counts as wealth as well. So and we're gonna be talking about that today. What wait, is wait. speaking of wealth, you know, before the billions, he is one of those guys that's moving in that direction. He's in in the chat right now. He's an uh, a data engineer, data scientist. See, I don't know. I'm just making up stuff. You would know better than I would intentionally. Yeah, I just make up stuff and Corey fixes it. So we're talking about all things wealth. And like you were just saying, Corey, we're moving forward. So I know there was something that you wanted to ask. Yeah. Like yeah. Lion Crest Outdoors. He's a hey Lion Crest. Roar. The Mufasa Mango, the Simba <laughs> Sweet Potatoes. We said thousand subscribers. Congratulations. Yeah. Bro. So like Lion Crest Outdoors, he's one of those folks that's like you, um, Marco, and before the billions, where he's like, okay, let's see what we can do with this thing. I'm doing gardening, yes. I'm wealth building for my family with my land, yes. And you know, his channel is monetized, but he's into so many different things. So how did you get started with this? Was well, it tech, like coffee talking tech? Was it just, you know, growing up well, uh, with wealthy parents? Man, how, What's your beginning? Well, his actual beginnings, we he's told us before that you had a, a a trajectory that started out in a different, you, need, you weren't like Tony Starks or any of the people that were born in the wealth, some of those characters. Oh, he didn't have a spoon in his mouth he like Prince Ayoko. Yeah, he didn't have a silver spoon <laughs> in his mouth and he didn't have any of Well, tell so us, tell us. How did you go from being raised in the projects to being prosperous? Well, I was raised in the projects. Um, basically, the traditional type of scenario, raised in the projects. I had a two-parent household. My dad came home every night. However, uh, he used, he only did just barely enough, and he took the rest of the money and went to the bootlegger house. And mm. for those in, in the eighties, eighties babies know exactly what that is. I'm gonna, t- um, I'm gonna but, tell you, uh, Vaughn, Vaughn Bryant knows something about the bootlegger house. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, so <laughs> he used to take a lot of the money and go to the bootlegger house, and I just remember one time being put out. Um, and being put out, seeing the lights get cut off, having the gas get cut off. Um, I just knew that for me, I made a decision that when I get older, I won't have none of those type of challenges. Right. Um, so with that being said, uh, I graduated high school. It was five of us. I'm the youngest of five, my sister being the oldest. And then I had three brothers. And throughout that process, um, I was the first one to actually go to college I waited two years before I decided to go because I didn't I didn't have nobody to give me the direction. Mm-hmm. And I also didn't know what I wanted to go to school for. So I worked for two years um, and realized that I needed to get a career. So I went to the community, local community college and I went to the council and told them I want something that was math based, that was hard, that most people don't finish. And it gave me engineering. So, okay, so wait a minute. How did you know to even ask for that? You know what I mean? Let's say, for example, Well Talk Production, right? Mm-hmm. We know, okay, by now he named his channel Well Talk Production because he's done a few things, he's studied. But this was you coming out of high school asking them at college, like, okay, where do I, where do I go? But you were directing them. How did you know that? Well, because I knew in high school, I was math was always easy for me. Oh. Um, and that was the class that I never took no books home. I always did homework in class before the class was over. So, um, with that being said, I just knew that I was good at math, but I, I hated everything else. So, but I always made honor roll. Mm, got it. So here's, so you, you go ahead, Corey. You go to college for engineering and then you graduate. And then how is that? What's the rest of the, rest of the tra- trajectory to get you to the prosperity? Okay, so the prosperity came once I graduated high school. Um, 
the day after I graduated, my dad said he was going to get a loaf of bread and he left the house and never came back. Um, yeah. And when that happened, I went on, I was already, I uh, started college two years later and I was able to eventually find him and realize that uh, he had a, another woman. Um, and during that time he had hit the lottery, but that's another story. But anyway, during that process, I realized that I, I had a girlfriend at the time and I did realize that I needed to do something with myself. Right. So when I decided to go to college, um, I graduated four years later. And then when I started my first day on the job, I was working with people that was making, uh, you know, over six figures. But the problem I saw was all of them complained. All of them had issues. And I said that I knew I needed to do something outside of just the nine to five. Mm. And I realized that my very first day on the job after graduating uh, college. Mm. So, you know, here's the thing from what you just said you you're out here in the world and you're in the working world you're making good money but the people don't seem happy and you're saying like okay what do i do with this you were about to say something i'm sorry go ahead yeah and the, and the reason why that stood out to me is because when you come from the bottom you pay, i i know for me i came from not having much we had but we didn't have if that make any sense Right. Um, but because of that, I was very, uh, you know, I'm naturally an introvert. So I just really paid attention to if I just if I came from out of the project and now I'm working in a professional place and everybody's doing like people in the projects that let me know is a disconnect. Right. Mm -hmm. so you know um, and what I mean by that, that's no mm -hmm. not saying that is better than. But if people that's working a nine to five, making the income, still complaining or having issues like somebody that was in the projects, it's just at a different scale. Yeah. So to me, it was kind of like, so I know I needed to do something different. You know, and then from that, that's when I decided to, uh, I, I had a, a, a good friend of mine, which was my boss at the time. Okay. Um, he introduced me to, you know, learning about investments and stuff. And then that's when I opened up my Roth IRA. Um, and then from the Roth IRA, I always wanted to get into real estate, but I didn't know how. Um, but I had an opportunity to um, purchase some shares doing an IPO that was going on. And I was able to get a lot for uh, a very good price. And they made me a ton of money. And I, then I knew that, OK, um, if I can do this um, now, I need to continue to do the same thing over, but do it at a different at a higher scale. Um, but I did run into some issues doing that because it was mm -hmm. me and my mom at the time and I had twenty one thousand dollars in debt. Right. So let me ask um, you this. So let me ask you this. I just want to clarify. Basically, what was happening is because before the billions are saying like same, same here. Right. Mm -hmm. So you had a situation where you realized, sure, you have some money, but you didn't have security. You didn't have the longevity. You didn't That's have right. that. Because let's say like if you're in Canada, but she stole my thunder, she's over there like, oh, I don't have to worry about health care. Yeah, she stole my thunder. <laughs> right. That's one thing you don't have to think about. Kareen, Kareen. She's like, I had humble beginnings. Uh, right. That's you. However, we're thinking, OK, when we get somewhere, we'll just be set. But then you realize like Adrian Nash, she's out there making her last batch of bone, bone broth brewing, living her best life. She's in a very comfortable position. When you talk to Adrian, she sounds satisfied. Like you talk to her, she says, I have some things set up. That's why I'm not worried. That's what you're saying was the difference in having a Roth IRA and other financial things in there and also getting rid of debt because that's what you were just going to say. You know, those are the things that made a difference for you. Everybody wasn't like Prince Ayoko, right? Prince Ayoko mm -hmm. is in Ghana. Born into royalty. Born into royalty. And even he works hard. He knows that just because you start it, you still have to keep it in some way. Do what makes you happy. So in the way that you travel, Prince Ayoko, he travels. He's a welder. He's a farmer. He, uh, of course, runs different businesses, building and welding and all of those things. He has employees under him but he's also satisfied in those positions. So that's what you're talking about doing here, wealth building, so that you don't just go get a job, get the money. You also figure out how to make the money and keep the money and make the money work for you so that your money has grandkids, your money has great grandkids, and that's what they call legacy. That's correct. <laughs>
So guys, we're gonna get right into this first place pony drawing because we don't want it, we don't want intentional millionaire to spill all the tea right at the top of the show. That's so it. We're gonna go ahead and make you hang on for a little bit longer by going ahead and doing our first place pony drawing. Now a lot of people, Lucky Marie uh is in there. Okay, wait a minute. Uncle Stu says, although I came from wealth, my father taught me to make my own wealth. Nice. Mm. Okay, that's what's up, right? You that's what you want to do, create your own legacy and longevity. Lucky Marie, you're a lucky person. Happy to have you here, but you got to put in hashtag the home team. You might win first place bragging rights because of course we're getting some really great information today from the intentional millionaire, but we definitely want you uh to build legacy right along with everybody else while you win this in while you win this information because we're winning today. People are putting it in, Corey. She stole my thunder, got it in. Big Guy Journey. Hey, Big Guy Journey. BGJ, all the way out there in Michigan with Trash Can Wave. He's got it in. So how are we going to do this, Corey? I'm going right. to pull it up and you what? All right. So Intentional Millionaire, I'm going to do the horse race announcement. And when I get to the end, and when I say bring, I make the gate sound bring. Can you hit that cash register sound you did earlier? <laughs> yes, I can do that. All right. All right. Because Adrian is ready. She said, what you talking about? Intentional millionaire with these exchange traded funds and these individual retirement accounts. She's all happy. Like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> She's ready for the ETFs and everything else. So, so you got you got the uh, randomized, the, the rigor, mass, rigor mass selector up. I got it up and <laughs> she stole my thunder has it in. Black's Tropical has it in. Lucky Marie, do your thing. Everybody else has been putting it in. So we have a lot of entries. You, you say ready, set, go. He'll make the cash register sound. I'll right. hit the button. All right. Y are you ready, Intentional Millionaire? I'm ready. Here we go. Ladies, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> got it already. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Blind Guy, his wife, Derby. All the jockeys are in position, ready to race. And now. They're off. All they, right. Dun, 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 uh, Buckner, dun, dun, Trash Can Waves, Oshie Girls, Tasha, Oshie Girls, G. Albert, Bong, Brian, Kareem, Kareem, Larita, uh, G. Albert, Trash Can Waves, Bong, Brian, Oshie Girls, Game Business, Bong, Brian, Coach Remy, Larita King, Lion Crest Outdoors, Coach Remy, Larita King. She stole my thunder. She stole my thunder. What? what? She came right in. Came all the way from Canada and won the race. She is the champion. Oh, my yes. friend. Sorry, K Biz. He's talking about I'm winning today. You are not. She and stole my <laughs> Thunder stole it from you. Shut up. Two days in a row, you missed the crowd noise. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I got it. I got it. <laughs> so, guys. She this... says, yeah, congratulations to me. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, Red Pill Awareness. So happy to have you Red here. Red Pill Awareness in the house. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. David Hunt is saying rigidness. The rigidness. Yeah, the rigor mass selector. <laughs> Look, she did steal your winnings. I'm sorry, K Biz, but we're going to win today because we are going to say goodbye to Intentional Millionaire for, for right now. So that way we can give him a proper intro, but not before he congratulates. She stole my thunder for winning the first place pony. Can you congratulate her, please? Congratulations. She stole my thunder. Congratulations oh. on the win. <laughs> nice, nice. Can you hit the, nice. can you hit the cash register for? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So we are going to see you soon. Everybody's a good sport, like Vanessa Buckner, Nancy Annette. The women are always so sweet. Larita King. See, look, what Wally, well talk production tomorrow, shaking my head. <laughs> see what I'm saying? The, the women are always like, well, hey. So listen, we are going to see you soon. All right. All right. All right. All right. Well, guys, this is going to be a great episode. If you're just joining us, we're talking about how you can grow your portfolio to be worth $1 million, like our guest, as he went from the projects to prosperity. And he's going to show you something that everyone can do. And he's going to, he's not only going to inspire, but he's going to also just give us a few jewels, of, jewels along the way. But So we're almost there. We just got to say hello to 757 Renaissance Man, and hey. we'll get into the official interview. But before we begin this official interview, I have to say it. <clears throat> this information that you are receiving today is not intended to be financial advice. If you are seeking to do investments on your own, please consult with a professional financial advisor. Boom. So with that being said, today's special guest is a story of inspiration and prosperity all rolled into one. This gentleman has told us already how he rose from the projects to prosperity. And he's going to guide us along through his own personal journey about how, how we can grow our portfolio to be worth $1 million. 
Today's featured guest has more muscles than He-Man and Superman combined. He has more power than the Black Panther and Tony Stark's The Iron Man combined. He has more sticky fingers when it comes to catching and collecting cash than Spider-Man himself. Sticky fingers, that don't sound good. Yeah, shooting webs. Oh. <laughs> he is none other than today's featured guest. He is the Iron Man of money and investments. <laughs> he is the intentional millionaire. Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for that great intro there, Corey. <laughs> yeah, the, I forgot to say the Wolverine of wealth. <laughs> there you go. So, yeah, so Intentional Millionaire, thanks for joining us and being part of this uh, this broadcast. And we can jump right in because you told us about how, you know, you, you raised in the projects and you, you realized at an early age that you needed to do something different. And you pursued your degree in engineering and you used your, your uh, money, your income to actually fund your investments to help you grow a million dollar portfolio. But now you've also taken that to the, to the airwaves. You have a platform, a YouTube platform where mm -hmm. you help others to do the same. What is the purpose behind your platform as far as when it comes to building millionaires? Wait a minute, Corey. You can't just jump into the question. You know, Why the people not? are excited. Like Melissa Jameson is here. Hey, saying Melissa hello. Jameson. And also we have uh, Red Pill Awareness giving you all the 100s. So definitely excited for this info you're about to bring, as well as Big Time Drum. Big Time Drum. <laughs> yes, great content creator, and he is a musician as well. So help us out with this question. Uh, your YouTube platform. Your YouTube platform. The purpose of your platform is to help build millionaires. Tell us what, what people can expect when they come over to your YouTube channel. Well, when they can come over to the YouTube channel, it's basically the channel is designed around helping coach train and teach men, men on how they can build a million dollar portfolio but in the process is to make it where it's very simple and easy to do from the standpoint of starting from i like to say the abcs of growing your net worth Nice. Basically, you're teaching them the baselines, the elementary level baseline mm -hmm. things that they can do to increase their wealth. And that's uh, now you say elementary or the baseline, but when we head on over to your channel, you've got some deep info right here. So, of course, we see you right there. I love the color scheme you have on a green shirt. Uh, the intentional is white, millionaire is green. Your background has that green tint. We just see money, money, money. So we see the intentional millionaire measure your wealth. You're, you know, putting us to the task right away. And when we head over to your videos here, we can see kill these liabilities. Don't drop the bag. Start this. This asset can make you wealth. Um, are liabilities good? You know, why assets? What is the meaning of net worth? And then the quality of your videos is it, quite amazing. And you're, you simplify a lot of things for us. So with your with your channel, what experience do you have that made you such a like such a natural at this? Because you look very natural behind the camera. So there you are in your video. Right. Mm -hmm. And then the editing is amazing. What makes it easy for you to communicate with people and just give us this in like layman's terms because you make it quite easy to understand, especially for someone that says they're an introvert? Yes. Well, because for me, um, because I do have a, I like to say because I, my background is in engineering, so my mind is kind of technical slash in, um, analytical. And because of that, I found myself, I always had a hard time growing up taking multiple choice tests because I would overthink. Mm. So I spent a good time um, really focused on how to make things simple, um, but making things simple allowed me to be able to teach it. And from teaching it, it makes it easier for me to better understand, but also be able to convey the message. Mm. Um, yeah. Big Guy Journey is calling you the money man. So, you know, this is this is cooking. We love it. So go ahead. You were going to say something else. Yeah, and, and one of the things. Wait, too wait, is wait. I, Hold on a second, because why, Corey? This is why I like his videos. They're hilarious. He just had a, a pair of ashy legs show up, and then it's, he said in the caption there was a face like an emoji looking, and it said, "I use my Roth IRA for lotion." Yeah. <laughs> so, <you know. laughs> 
So mm. look, these, like the whole thing, all of your videos are like this. The editing is cool. It, the, the message is straight to the point. And the way you just, yeah, the way you give it. So go ahead, keep on telling us about it. Because Ashley Larry, yep, Trash Can Wave spotted it. And Black Tropicals laughing, talking about, what the? Mm-hmm. And uh, I know I know you might have seen this too. In engineering, oh, wow, what discipline. Electrical. So, electrical. Yep, okay. I had electrical engineering with a minor in engineer management. Okay. Um, yeah. And because of that, uh, so to say to make it easy uh, for me was one of the big things was always focus on the kiss system, making stuff easy and simple. Mm-hmm. Um, but also, too, I used to have a financial license. I am I was fully licensed to do retirement plans, investment, things like that. But I gave up that license because I didn't like being locked into a system that didn't have the client's interest as the best interest. Mm, so it. with that being said, I said that it's better for me to just go out and get an information because I was always taught you give everything free because that's just what you're supposed to do and everything else will follow. OK. Mm. And that's Plain what I've done so. all my life. So I, I mentor. So because I started the channel, too, because I always had a passion for mentor just because of my walk and, you know, my walk in life. And I always felt like that was the best way I can give back because it's just me. I don't have no kids. So I look at my legacy is who else can I teach and mm. get all this information out of my head into some type of format? Mm. Nice. Okay. Okay. And this is great because um, Trash Can Waves, you know, he was like, yeah, electrical is the one. That's the thing to do, right? Uh, <laughs> David Hunt. We're not even going to talk about you talking about lead attorney. Didn't want to show his ashy legs on Suzette's speak show. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Melissa Jameson says he's down the street from me. I'm in Disputana, you know? So look, we're all down the street from each other, Melissa. Uh, and then th- here's the thing. How did she find that out? Well, because he said uh, she probably looking at his information, his oh, okay. uh, info or whatever. Okay, I was like, what? Okay, <laughs> yeah. So Adrian, I know she was asking about what type of engineering. So what we want to know is how other people like. What does this do for other people? So when we're getting this information, are we going to be brewing on it like Adrian Nash's bone broth? Do we just brew on it? Do we act on it in your videos? What are you telling these people so that they can build? Uh, themselves as millionaires? Are you giving them specific instructions? Is this for adults? Is it for kids? Is it for anybody? Actually, the content is for everybody. Um, the reason why is because it's, 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 my content is around layers. So the content is one, just getting familiar with a lot of the terminology and the things that happen in the financial industry. Mm-hmm. Because most of the time they like to use big words that make people uncomfortable to ask questions. Um, the second thing is... Um, it's geared around what to do next. So I then sh- show people, provide advice on what you need to do, where to go, what to do it. Mm. Um, and then from there, I also talk about kind of like if you have questions or in particulars, you can always reach out to me and I make sure that I, you know, provide the solution for you because I don't have all the answers and I don't consider myself a guru but I have a team of people that I kind of interact with and work with that I can get I, that's resource based that I can gather answers. And I normally like to do what I say information gathering because I don't watch no TV and I really take pride in what I do. Mm-hmm. So I really spend a lot of time finding and researching information. I love it. Mm-hmm. You know, XDMC is in here talking X-D-M-C, about it. MC. Yes, he says one love fam. The intentional millionaire is such an humble and logical thinker. He shares needed financial knowledge. It's about giving back. Salute to this brother. So this is what you're doing. Like you're saying, you're giving this back to anybody that wants it. So you yep. give, and I've I've watched your videos. I definitely watch them, and I typically uh, use the technique of okay, let me watch it the first time, and then let me watch it the second time while I comment. That way I can hear the information again. I can see what parts I really need to go back and study, which parts I can implement. I know that on that particular IRA, the Roth IRA one, you tell us exactly where to go to open our Roth IRA, not just Mm -hmm. to the bank, but you say, hey, go to TD Ameritrade. You list it. It's on the screen. We hear you saying it. It's a way to uh, it's just a way to get it done. 
We got PWJ in the house, Corey. PWJ in the house. Absolutely. Now, we do have to get into our second giveaway. Giveaway because K Business is saying, I want to be a millionaire. I know K Business in his recent video, he has his goals for next year uh, are to make a quarter of a million dollars in profits, right? That mm -hmm. doesn't mean he's just going to make 250,000. He might make 400,000, but right. he'll bring home the, the profits. So you're the one that helps us understand the difference in those terms, net worth, assets, profits, what's really, you know, what's what? and all of those kind of stuff. Now, here's the thing, Intentional Millionaire. I don't know if you're looking because Trash Can Wave said you looked a little nervous when she said she was down the street. He's yeah. like, talking about, you might end up with some <laughs> uh, Anyways, what is our what is our hashtags for this next giveaway? Because people are subbing to you. K Business says, I'll sub to the Intentional Millionaire. I want to learn from this brother. We're all doing it. We're all subbing or have subbed. So if you haven't, we've dropped his link into the channel and into the description as well as into the chat. So, Corey, what is the next hashtag? And then you guys can tell us the giveaway. The hashtag, I'm doing this for the intentional millionaire. The hashtag is Deep Creek Hornets. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> but the hashtag is, we're going to make it a long one, The Intentional Millionaire. They have to put in the? The Intentional Millionaire. All right, guys. The Intentional Millionaire. All of that is what you have to put in. And then who's going to tell us about the giveaway? I'll do that. The Intentional Millionaire, like I said, ladies, get ready. Where is it, Guda? Where is what? Oh, okay. Hold on a second. Ladies, this is for the ladies. How are you going to do that with a cup of uh, water in your hand? You gonna hold it up? No, I'm not. Okay, we'll trade. Okay. The intentional. Y'all see, Corey tried to have me do crazy stuff on the show. Well, you Just do crazy so that... stuff on your own all the time. That's on my own, guys. I can't do that on TV. The intentional. No, I'm talking on air. You do crazy stuff. You just said the trash can way was packing. Melissa Barry's husband had a new position, and you know, but all that was the... accident. <laughs> <laughs> so this they're, is what, ooh, they're putting it in and they're spelling it right. Awesome, this is what, awesome. this is what ladies like eight and they're subbing. You got 254 now. Okay. All the single ladies, uh the ladies that are for the streets, <laughs> intentional millionaire <laughs> has said that if whoever wins, if it's a lady, he's gonna put on this thong, 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 thong. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> no, the intentional millionaire. What are you gonna give us today, the intentional millionaire? So what I, whoever win first thing is I'm gonna give you a shout out on the channel, mm. um, but also um, and I give you a shout out for the next uh, two episodes that I do, okay. and also I'm willing to do a one on one with you where you can pick my brain, ask any questions that you want to ask me. I'm very transparent. I don't have nothing to hide, um, and I really want more people to go out and really get their portfolios up because I just believe that. Once you get your portfolio up, you have a lot more peace mentally, um, but also you can have more influence in the community. So nice. And it also opens you up to do a lot of things that you want to do because you got some great travel photos on your Instagram page. Yeah. Tell us and, about some of the places you've been. And, you know, when while you tell us, I'll definitely make sure that I'm showing these things because, you know, this is like our introduction, introduction to investing. It's not just us being introduced to finances it's us in being introduced to a lifestyle that we can have right that means we can travel we can feel good we can look good all of those things are part of our wealth speaking of looking good here you are in china this is the side of a bus guys this is the type of advertisements they have there but i'll just scroll through and you tell us some of the places you've been so i've been to china i've been to thailand i've been to japan i've been to okinawa um and the reason why I went to Okinawa, because I read a book and it talked about that's one of the uh, islands that have where, where people live the longest. Mm. Um, the average age there was 108. Mm. Um, so I went there and see what I kind of went there just to see exactly what they was doing. Um, as you can see in that picture, I went to my first sumo match. Yes. Um, I hiked up uh, Mount Fuji. Mm. Um yeah, I, I've been to Thailand, Mexico. I met, went to Mexico, did four wheeling and horseback riding. Um, and that's at, at Mount Fuji. That was the uh, mountain cake. <laughs> it um, looks like a little Mount Fuji, Corey. Yeah, so I, I, I look at travel as something that is a have to. Why? It's because I work hard and I play hard. That's um, it. 
And one of the things this kind of really tie into, oh, and I went to Evo. So for those the gamers out there, I, I do game, but I don't have time anymore. But I normally play in Evo, which is the uh, Street Fighter Championship Tournament. Mm. Um, and that's normally held in Vegas. The last one was supposed to be in Paris. I didn't go due to, co you know, due to the, the right. environment currently going on right now. But uh right. But I've been in Hawaii. I, that was the Diamond Head Mountain. I met, hiked up that. Um, so I just like to really get out, enjoy the fruits of my labor. Because yeah, I just believe the, the reason why mm -hmm. the reason why it's so important to build your net worth is because you could take advantage of having fun now, but also planning for the future. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, yes. And the, the key fundamentals that I like to kind of say that most people need to do when it comes to investing is one, um, as I stated, they need to first just really take a, a snapshot and sit back and think about where they like to spend their money at. And then I like to say, why are we, if we spending our money, why not get a three, a three or two for one versus one for one? So what does that mean? Uh, the best example I could give is for a young man that likes to wear Jordans. Okay. If you don't invest in Nike, then you're doing it totally wrong. Because if you're right. going to buy the Jordans anyway, why not buy the Jordans? But also, every time you buy a pair of Jordans, you go buy 10 stock of Nike. Oh, so, so that way you're getting a two for one versus a one for one. That's what then if Nike saying. also decide to pay dividends, now you get not only the stock of Nike, but you also getting um, the dividends. So now you're getting a three for one. You're going to buy the shoes anyway, but why not have ownership and wear the product? Okay, so let's back this up a little bit. We're going to break it down because we're just a few minutes away from ending the show. And we want to uh -huh. end it with these gems. XDMC is saying what he's saying, so we're going to rephrase it so that we can hear it two or three times. XDMC is saying facts. When I look at my portfolio, I get in that the world can't tell me shit feeling mm -hmm. and it feels good. Mm -hmm. So basically what you're saying is he might be looking down at his Nike shoes thinking, man, I'm stepping out in these shoes. And then he looks at his portfolio and he's looking at, hey, I have stock here. I have ETFs. I have uh, like if I don't have Nike that I own uh, privately, I'm a part of an ETF where Nike is in that group of different shoes. Um, so he's looking at all these different ways to invest in the same thing over and over so that it benefits you more than one way is what you're saying. That's correct. Because we spending the money anyway. All mm -hmm. of us have lower companies that we lower to. But why we lower to the company and not our own pockets? Mm. Right, right. Yeah. You know what? Speaking of being loyal, consistent Ash Core. Remember, I told you I was in her live mm -hmm. stream while she was in ours. <laughs> she just ended hers and she was in here saying hello. Now, being gotta, loyal to our own pockets. I love it. And gotta, gotta ask this. Hold on, wait, question. wait, Corey. K Business says I shop at Walmart. I have Walmart stock. I have a Toyota Rav4. I also have Toyota stock. Okay, that's what you're on track. Saying. He's on track. And so, Lash's journey is saying amen. So intentional millionaire, uh, we're trying, we're gonna wrap this up. And <laughs> what we want to ask you though is just gives people some baseline places to get started. I know they could come to your channel and learn the terminology, mm -hmm. but I know for you, your journey started baseline. You started with a Roth IRA, and then where did you go from there? How did you use that so, Roth IRA? So I started with the Roth IRA and I used the Roth IRA for two two things. I used it to also purchase some stock, but I also used it to get into real estate um, because the benefits of the Roth IRA was I was able to make some, um, take money out the Roth IRA and with no tax penalty. Um, mm -hmm. So I leveraged that to get into real estate. And then once I was able to get into real estate, I then leveraged it again to get into other investment vehicles. Okay. So here's the thing, everything that you're saying right now, I've also heard in your videos. So guys, if you did not, you know, if you didn't catch something, go on over there, subscribe to his channel, listen in, learn some things, be reminded of some things. Real talk with Melissa Berry and it's like, yes, because real estate is the long game. So of course, you know, Melissa is also saying Apple. You know, they're an Apple type of people over there in her household. And so she's like, yep, I got their stock. I got their products. You can enjoy things multiple ways. So let's get into right. the giveaway. How do we do that, Corey? All right, Intentional Millionaire. I am going to uh, count down three, two, one. And you can give me three three cash register rings. Ah, okay. okay. So right. let's do it. Yes, I'm ready. I've got it right here on the screen. It doesn't even all fit on one line. The E is at the <laughs> bottom. 
<laughs> Three and a two and a one. You got to give us three. three. You got two more. I know. It's it's, it's a oh. little delay. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right. Let's see who's going to win this consultation. Trash Can Ways. Big Got Journey Vaughn Bryant. FDMT Wally Wally. Uh, Trash Can Ways. Melissa Bryant. Unique Few. Hey, Unique Few. Vanessa Buckman. Kareem Kareem. Old Man. Uh, Uncle Stu. Lion Crest. Wally. Melissa Jameson. Tasha Oshie Gross. Tasha Oshie Gross. Hey. <laughs> All right. So, Tasha Oshie Gross, you're going to get two shout outs on two episodes of and The Intentional Millionaire. And we're going to give you his email <laughs> email address so that you can actually uh, go ahead and get your one-on-one -on -one consultation. Yeah, so this is wonderful. Uh, now, I know that you are a vegetarian. So before we get into our final, I'm going to add your um, uh, email. If you want, I can put it on the screen for Tasha Oshi Grows. That way she can book her her consultation. her consultation the one from your youtube channel is the, is the one i can share or if you'd like me to add a different one i can you tell me no that's fine all right so the intentional millionaire at gmail.com is what i'll add to the screen that way tasha oshi grows can email you and of course if anyone else is interested in securing his services he does consultations he's going to provide a consultation for tasha oshi grows as well as give her two shout outs so on to our final segment of the day our plant-based treats. Now, people are congratulating Tasha Oshie Grows. They're all happy for real. And Gail Lockett even is saying, that's an awesome deal. Congrats again. But wait, wait, why is XDMC? You know what? You don't, he don't even need it because his portfolio is stacked. And he's talking about rig to the highest of rig is rig <laughs> <laughs> Phil, it's wrench time. <laughs> I asked this. He said, "Just because you got some, don't mean you don't want. Don't, don't, doesn't mean you want more." Huh? Mm, that's a good point. So you always want to level up. Everybody's saying congratulations, but ain't that right, guys? Just because you got some, doesn't mean you don't want more. I mean, you know what? <laughs> K Biz is saying uh, we need to open an investigation. Uh, right. Thank you, Adrian. Beauty of the Roth. She's she's excited for all of us here. Question for you. How many fruits? Oh, Corey, you asked. How many fruits and vegetables have you eaten today? And which ones were they? That's your question. Are we muted? No, raw, um, the intentional millionaire. That's your question. Oh, that's my question. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I thought you were going to read the chat. I'm so yeah. sorry. No, your question um, is I had an what? apple and a banana this morning. All right, oh, all right, all right. Sweet, got sweet, your sweet. fiber in there. Got your, <laughs> got your, your, your vitamins in there. Great. So we appreciate intentional meaning. Yeah, the Hang day out. was leg day, so I had to normally put some on my stomach. Oh, I don't really do got breakfast, it. but I had to put some on my stomach. So, so you've already been working out today, is basically what you're saying. Yeah, I got up at five thirty. Nice. So that's how you win. Get up early. Get it done. And of course, you said today was leg day, but. Um, Hey, this is wonderful. Tasha Oshi Grows is excited about it. She's happy. And we're going to make sure Tasha Oshi Grows that we add his email back to the screen. So that way you can see it. You can email him. And don't forget, guys, be like big. I was going to say big guy journey. Big guy journey is also working out. Mm -hmm. But be like the intentional millionaire, whether it's leg day, whether it's back day get it in so because your health is your wealth make sure what you're putting inside your body make sure that what you're putting inside your brain is all for the benefit and growth of you any final words before you go the intentional millionaire because we're going to head into our plant-based segment um my final words is that anybody can do it i didn't do anything that was like this far-fetched einstein type of stuff i just was the the key thing is consistency just Follow a plan, stick to the plan, be consistent. And last thing is um, that I didn't mention, but I want everyone to know is you have to create a system and that system needs to be rewards and punishment. Mm -hmm. So you, you, we already done fun stuff, but now we got to get back to let's work, start working on goals and plans. And then once we hit them, then we reward ourselves. And that's one thing I was very good at. I love it. That's it. Great now, info. Great info. Great words of wisdom. Uh, we're going to finish with that. We're going to head into our plant-based treat segment because you've had your banana and apple, black tropical head grits with now okra. Oh, okay. I gave her that tip and she's like, hey, 
uh, th this might be working out. I'll, I'll be on her garden chat, so we'll know. So, guys, the intentional millionaire, we're going to get you to hang out in the green room, and we'll talk to you once this broadcast is over. Lash's journey, I did want to say that she was saying, you know, these are gems. And earlier she did say something about your 401k. That's a great tool as well. Did you have any input on that before you go? Yes. I, um, if if you watch one of my videos, I, I kind of mentioned the order that most people should start investing. And the first mm -hmm. one is they need to fully take advantage of the company retirement plan, especially ah. if they match. Because it doesn't make sense to go out and invest in stocks, ETFs, or whatever when you're leaving money on the table right there in front of you. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. I love it. So this is good, guys. He only has a few videos on the channel. It's growing. So you can get caught up right now. All right. So thank you so much. This was an awesome show. KBiz says we're about to close out in a moment. Hang out in the green room and enjoy some. Uh, what do we have? I think we got grits with okra now. David Hunt doesn't want them. Let's give it to him. <laughs> All right. Grits with okra it is. Virtual grits with okra. All right. So we'll see you soon. OK. All right. All right. All right. So now it's time for today's plant-based treat by Chef Laquita Marie. All right. Always getting you to eat more fruits and vegetables with every meal. Peas that, please. All right. So I got the beans in here with a bag of beans. I think it was a 12-ounce bag. Cook on medium-high for 30 minutes. And to finish chopping this rutabaga, I've already taken the skin off. Chop one rutabaga and two onions. Rutabagas are rich in vitamin C, cancer-fighting antioxidants, and they build strong bones. Great for fiber, too. A couple of bay leaves. Bay leaves are rich in vitamins A and C, iron, potassium, calcium, and magnesium. Cover this. We're just going to let it cook until those vegetables get soft another 10 minutes. One teaspoon of smoked paprika. Paprika contains a lot of iron. It's important to eat it with the source of vitamin C. A teaspoon of seasoned salt with garlic. A teaspoon of seasoning salt with chili powder. So I'm just gonna add this homemade sausage. Plant-based sausage. That I made, I just browned it a little bit. So we're just gonna add a little bit of salsa for our tomatoes. One cup of salsa or crushed tomatoes. Make sure you take out the bay leaves. These are the best black eyed peas ever. They have lots of flavor. I agree. I, I like how there was stuff around the beans instead of just the beans. All right, guys. Hoping to give you some peas that please, as well as a few other things. Yes, red pill awareness. Blind guy be eating good. Uh, <laughs> all right, guys. Well, that, no, no, we ain't saying nothing else. Go ahead, Corey. Keep moving. Nothing, what? I be eating good. And you know, y'all guys are always talking. Anyway, this is a daytime show, so we'll <laughs> stop right there. And look at Adrian giving us the order of investment operations. She's like, yes, the, hey, listen to big, listen to the intentional millionaire. He's got the big plan for you in simple ways, simple terms. Oh, Melissa loves black eyed peas. Well, that does it for this episode of A Blind Guy. His wife. Their Life Live. We have counted you down to your weekend, and we hope that you enjoy it. Don't forget to join us again next Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday for more fabulous guests, including the one of the clown princes of the comments, Trash Can Waves is coming on. Guys, can you believe it? Trash Can Waves is going to be here next week. So tune in every day. That way you won't miss them. Melissa Jane, so happy to have you here. Always great to see you. I didn't say hello earlier. And thank you, Pure Pondering, for saying it looks yummy. Oh, and she's working on onion syrup and fire cider. Okay. If you put that on your channel, I'll be sure to watch. Of course, I'm there Monday mornings with uh, Black Tropical with our garden chat. So if you're in the comments, also, she lets you come up on the panel. Hey, tell us about it. I'd like to hear more about onion syrup. And I forgot to mention next week also coming on is the 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 Mr. B behind Melissa B. She, he, Mr. Vanell is coming on. He's going to talk about the how to amp up your soft skills and get go from getting an interview all the from putting your application to getting the interview all the way to getting that career position that you desire. Absolutely. So, how do we say goodbye, Corey? Because uh, people are saying good things, like Big Guy Journey is saying, you know, I motivate him to cook more. Uh, we have XDMC talk. Wait, wait, what is XDMC talking about? XDMC said that's an X rated show. Nah, what you said earlier. Oh, about, okay. Are you good? Anyway, <laughs> as I was saying, hey there, TJ. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> How are you going to 
Mosaic, look, Mosaic with TJ Randolph is in here. You can't be saying thong, thong, thong while she's in here. No, Mosaic got thong, 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 thong. That's how she got Mr. Uh, Randolph. Yeah, exactly. She but probably anyways. got it on right next Friday. He's on his way home. She got it on oh, right now. <laughs> good point. Good point. Dog so, been pushed out the bed, tied up in the backyard. No, nah, she on the road with Happy. So you oh, know. Oh, oh, she on the road in the truck. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, she's the thong, the thong, thong, thong in that in that, in that sleeping court, the sleeping cot compartment. <laughs> As we were saying, um, okay, good, big guy journey. Get on there tonight with Black Tropical. It's gonna be great. I forgot tonight she's gonna have Talk Williams on more money talk, guys. You know, Fridays are always Financial Friday, so we're looking forward to it. Uh oh, Mosaic with T.J. Randolph. She's laughing. XDMC is in there dying laughing too. Anyways, guys, do what XDMC did. Uh, Melissa Jane, of course, she's everywhere. She's all, She always has good content that she's putting out. But XDMC was saying that his show, his show, his job for the past 11 years has uh, poured into him, you know, through his 401k. And that has allowed him to be more intentional with his finances. So, that's all we're saying. Do that. His company matches. You know how you can get your company to match whatever. Match the max, guys. Do what XDMC has done. How do we say goodbye? Well, we're going to say goodbye since, uh, and this is in honor of Laquita Marie's dish that she presented today. James Brown would say it. And wait, wait. How are Uncle Stu going to tell uh, TJ to say I'm a grown woman? Let's just go to uh, uh, Lash's journey. My company matches 6%. 6%. I've been put for about that same thing for about the same time as you. So I know you're sitting pretty well. Hey, mm -hmm. get it, girl. That's what I'm talking about. Uncle Stu, anyway, uh, thank you, Adrian. Uh, onion syrup is good to uh, ameliorate coughing. Adrian knows everything. Guys, Adrian's coming on soon. She's getting everything set up to do so because we're going to get some of this info. So, guys, I'm going to take us out of here by singing Jane, uh, sing a hook by James Brown that was made popular on uh, the TV show Martin. Okay. Once I give you the nod, Laquita, that's when we say deuces. Ready? Yes. Hey, pass the peas like we used to do. I said pass the peas like we used to do. I said pass the peas, huh? Like we used to do. Deuces. deuces.